Hi, my name is Namrita Gogia. I'm the Vice Chair for Internal Medicine, and I'm here to talk to you today about the COVID-19 vaccine. I'm getting the vaccine because I want to protect my family and because I want to be able to care for sick patients. We really want to lower the rates of COVID-19 in our community and vaccines are the safest way and the most effective way in doing that. The quicker that we get everybody vaccinated, um, the more protection we'll have for all of our um, community members and the less the virus can spread. Both vaccines were shown to have about a 94% efficacy rate, and that was that means that they were actually able to prevent COVID disease in 94% of people who received the vaccines. And this if rate of effectivity included individuals who had um, diabetes, obesity, um, other risk factors that we often see in patients who don't do well from COVID-19. So like many other vaccines that we have, for example, tetanus, the tetanus vaccine or the pneumococcal pneumonia vaccine, the mRNA COVID vaccines are showing a better um, immune response than the natural infection. And so there's gonna be more data coming out on this, but um, really the duration of protection and the robust immune response that we get from a vaccine um, tells us that it's much better to have a vaccine on board than to have a natural infection. The first shot from COVID vaccines is really just priming the immune system. And this is just the introduction of the spike protein. So the body is first recognizing the spike protein. It'll make its initial response to it. And then after that, consequently, the second dose, the body recognizes the spike protein again. And this helps mount a stronger immune response. It helps provide that more robust protection, the longer duration of protection that I mentioned before. So COVID vaccines have been shown to provide robust protection against becoming sick, but it's also possible for people to spread the virus without even knowing that they're sick. And so um, we still do want individuals to wear masks even after they get the vaccine. It's very odd on the one hand to have a surge like we have right now, and on the other hand, have this light at the end of the tunnel as far as the vaccine goes. And, um, you know, there's been so much science, so much data that's been poured into this, tireless efforts on um, getting this vaccine out. And it's something that I really believe in and I think will really change the course of this pandemic.